Starkville. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. A shooting last week there in Starkville was originally thought to be a homicide. Today, investigators say there's more to the story. That's right. WCBI's Tom Ebel joins us now live in the studio with the very latest on that investigation. Tom. Andrea Joey, Starkville Police, originally charged Neil Anthony Anderson in the shooting death of DeCorian Coleman. But after new details emerged, the charge is dropped and two other people go to jail in connection with what appears to have started as an armed robbery. On Friday, we investigated a homicide. Okay, and once we arrived on scene, we um, arrested a young man um, for that homicide. After investigating further, we realized that the homicide was uh, lawful in self-defense. A shooting last Friday night left a teenager dead and a man charged with murder. Now two other teens involved in the incident, 17-year-old Abdurl Fontaine Lee and 15-year-old Thomas Talib Bradford, are both facing an armed robbery charge after turning themselves in on Tuesday. Investigators say the two were involved in a robbery attempt and Neil Anthony Anderson used his gun to defend himself. Starkville Police Chief Frank Nichols says the deadly robbery attempt has impacted the entire community. This is a very unfortunate incident for all parties involved. Um, this um, not only affects the people that was directly involved in it, but it affects the community as a whole. So um, we're going to be uh, in prayer about the whole situation. Lee is out of jail on a $50,000 bond. Bradford remains in jail on a $50,000 bond. Nichols says the case is still under investigation. All right, that's Tom Ebel with the update on that shooting out of Starfall. We have new information tonight.